Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ogotubo. I'm a Nigerian content creator based in Abuja. I make videos concerning food and baking and I post my videos every week. So please try and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are a returning subscriber, I'm so glad to have you back. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you seven things you need to know as a new baker. So before we get into it, please try and subscribe to my channel. Just try and subscribe. It won't cost you much. Okay, so now back to the video. Number one, you don't need all the gadgets before you start baking. You don't need to have all the equipment because that's what is always holding most people back. They want to get everything done. They want to get all the gadgets before they start baking or start whatever business you want to do. No. When it comes to baking or any other kind of business, you don't need all those gadgets. Whatever it is you have, just start with that. Be it things you have in your kitchen, just get started. That is the most important thing. Okay? Get started. Number two, try as much as you can to understand your recipe. Most people don't take their time to read the recipe and understand it. So please try and read the recipe, understand it, understand the measurements because there is a lot of calculations there. So understand the measurements, follow the steps. Number three, always grease your pan each time you bake. You don't just mix your cake, mix everything and pour it inside an ungreased pan. It doesn't work that way because in the end, the cake will not come out right. So try as much as you can to grease your pan before you pour your butter into it you get okay so the next point is you're going to make an ugly cake it is normal it's a normal thing so you don't have to fret you don't have to like fidget or anything no just know that you're going to make an ugly cake for the first time so that one will not discourage you please do not allow that to discourage you okay your first cake in fact more than one of it or more than one or two or three of it it's going to be ugly just keep going okay then the next point do not try to substitute any ingredient for another ingredient. It doesn't work that way because they all have their own purposes. Do you get? For instance, most people want to substitute baking powder with baking soda. They are two different ingredients. That is one of the reasons why I said try as much as you can to follow the recipe. Whatever recipe you are using, study it properly before you use it. Then another point, please try to study your oven. One thing about oven is oven varies. Everybody's oven is not the same. Most people don't study their oven. They just put the, their cake into it and before you know what's up, the cake start getting burned or they don't, they can't regulate it. Know the regulation so that you'll be able to time your cake once it is inside the oven and you know when it's going to come outside. Do you get it? All right. So, and our last and final point, adding more liquid to your butter will not make your cake more no it won't so no matter the quantity of water or whatever liquid you're using you add to your butter it will not make your cake moist so the best thing is for you to stick to the recipe you're working with with that being said we've come to the end of this video i hope you really enjoyed the tips i just dropped and then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like i said i drop videos every week in fact more than twice a week so please try and subscribe so you get notified each time I post a video. So until I see you in my next video, do have a 